think, I, I mean, think unexplored. I just heard a rumor that I think it's unexplored. the worst character. I think unexplored. It, it, unexplored is a good option, but you know, I I just feel like the tools that Diddy has at his disposal yeah. are just not good for this game. Maybe that's so. Maybe. I mean, only time we'll see. will tell. We'll only see. time will we'll tell. See. But I'm hip has a lot of uh, experience against Olimar players. Oh, yeah. And or as an Olmar player against, against Peach and yep, Daisy. Yep, yep. Especially again, he's played Razo uh, tons of times. I mean, mm -hmm. Razo and I'm Hip have played so many sets here in SoCal. Razo, top two Peach in our yeah, region, exactly. and uh -huh. probably one of the better Peaches in the world for sure. And I think it wasn't until like two weeks ago that Razo was actually able to overcome yes, I'm yes, Hip. Absolutely. So yeah, for I, I don't know. defeated his demon. Yeah. I'm just I'm wondering how much experience Sonoto has at this, this matchup. Yeah, you can only imagine. Uh, I'm not too sure what peaches he has in his own region, what peaches he's training against <laughs> online. Maybe he's played Sansora a couple uh -huh. of times. But what does matter right now is that this is a fresh player matchup, I believe. I don't think I've ever seen Zenodo and I'm hip play ever, even in Smash 4. Correct me if I'm wrong. I've seen... Uh, I mean, he has come out to a couple of tournaments. This is his first right, time yeah. in Ultimate I, here I, I know he's, he's been in SoCal for sure, but I've never seen this set personally. So, we'll see. Okay, well, it looks like we're getting a little bit of a It's not going to matter too much because it's different character coming out from, right, uh, right. from Zenodo anyways. Oh, I see. You mean uh, Zenodo versus I'm Hit. Yes. Okay. Exactly, yeah. Okay, well, I, I mean, I did get a, a, quite a, a small glimpse at Zenodo's Peach during double, and okay. I must say he was doing a great job of being the uh, support player okay. with his Peach. All right. Well, I mean that's great for doubles and all, but I'm just saying when it comes to putting up a wall, he right. knows how to do it. Okay. And uh, that that will be useful. Exactly. <laughs> He's gonna be able to go off stage or even make a wall that I'm hip is going to have to recover around. But getting I'm hit off stage first it is what's going to come first. Yeah. All right, so it looks like we're ready to finally get right into it. Hand warmers out of the way. Our first game here on Pokemon Stadium 2, Zenodo versus I'm hit. That's right, the new favorite starter. And what turnip is that? That was a stitch already, man. First pull. What kind of RNG is this? <laughs> well, Zenodo definitely challenging RNGesus. With that uh, that turn up so early, but here we go. And this is going to be the the typical game plan for, for both of our players. I'm hip, going to want to zone out, throw out a lot of Pikmin. I'm hip, going to oh no, I'm sorry. I'm hip is the one that's going to throw out Pikmin. Yeah. And then Zenodo try and breaking that wall with these uh, quick aerials. Yeah, and it looks like I'm hip uh, took to latching on a lot of Pikmin because if you latch on the Pikmin, it's a lot of early percent. Uh, Peach does have the tools to kill Pikmin. I mean, she's like her neutral air and down air and relatively safe. Also makes her moves like um, stall out a little bit more. That's right, so it delays the hitboxes. So in, on paper, this, this matchup is, is really tough. Well, Zenodo's making it work. Well, oh my uh, god. That forward hair uh, taking. It's a, it took a I'm hip socket about 115. Oh my god, and he got another stitch. He threw it out and actually didn't get any percent of it. He threw it out and managed to like catch it again. So he's showing some good item play. That's uh, remnants of Diddy Kong right now. Oh yeah, sure. definitely got all the item experience from his previous main Diddy Kong. Okay, trying to use the whistle, but it only absorbed the first hit of up air. That's going to be a great tool for, uh, for Zenoda to use against I'm hip. Just spacing ever so carefully around these Pikmin, but not enough to get hit by that forward smash by the ledge. Pulling I'm hit right back into it, only 55% to make up for it. And I'm hit forward smash, just it it's definitely something else, like the animation of it, because yeah. you see this like little thing just <laughs> spinning at you, and then you get launched super far. Yeah, it's it's weird man, it's for sure. A little jarring. Oh, two Pikmin latched on, and he was able to destroy them with a single back air. That's right, That's after dashing that. away, too, which means that I, that back air was pretty safe. Uh, I'm hit not in position to actually punish Zenodo. That's a really, really good recognition for Zenodo, too. Okay, but we do see double purple. That's a killer combo. Killer combo. 
Uh, the double purple Pikmin says, I mean, these are the only Pikmin that have knockback, so he's going to be able to knock uh, Peach out of the air a lot more easily um, and get control, like, on the stage and such. Of course, uh, the aerials for the purple uh, are also much stronger. Yeah. Oh, did he save the purple? Yeah, the purple. I meant uh, only, the only ones that have knockback from the side view. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, any any aerial will have a, a, a hitbox. Okay, you see the down tilt combos. Only able to get a couple hits from it, but still showing that he has them on lock. On lock. I'm hit with a ton of momentum right here. Doesn't get the forward smash by the ledge. Still doing tons of percent with these latch pigments. And uh, really fine, really safe evasive pressure with the smash bags. That's right. Able to land, but down smash not going to connect. Ooh. <laughs> Excellent anti-air. He caught Zenodo jumping and just snuck right in under him with an up smash. And I'm sure he knew that just because of all the magic knowledge he has from playing against Slayer and Razo. I mean, you can imagine that, like, that's the space that Peach wants to play in the majority of the time anyways because she's utilizing her float cancels, yes. using uh, utilizing her float, neutral air, down air, back air, all really good tools in the neutral. And so it's only a matter of time before you press that jump button. Even exactly, shield, yeah. exactly. And he just, he actually went underneath yeah. Zenodo and then did an anti-air. Yep. So smart stuff from I'm Hip. Just showing just how familiar he is. With yeah, us. and actually like clutched out that game after uh, an early stock loss. That's right, was not looking good for, for our Olimar player, I'm Hip. Now as we start game two, we're going to talk starting, not running back to uh, Pokemon Stadium, but in fact, choosing a platform stage with no platform. Final destination. Yeah, I can see why this uh, he would want this. It's definitely going to make it a little bit rougher for Olimar to get his game plan. Uh, Olimar benefits, I feel like, a little bit from hiding underneath the platforms. They want to cover. Uh, it makes it way harder for Peach to approach from above. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Which is, uh, a, a lot of the times, Peach's game plan, you, she wants to press down air to combo into the forward air. Or either just bread and butter. It's a bread and butter like and, and a kill confirm. Okay, well, we're seeing another. Uh, we're seeing a good start for I'm hit this time. But he's been able to zone out Zenodo, and uh, with the help of his two purple pigment that he had, uh, just kind of cool. keep Zenodo and hit them. Wow, oh, fourth throw. throw and Zenodo. I mean, it was a DI yeah, mix up for sure. I think Zenodo was expecting the up throw and just got thrown right into the black zone. Yeah, smart really stuff smart on him. Okay, spot dodging only the first hit. Second hit still connecting for Zenodo. Now back to the game plan of Chucky Pikmin. Right, just waiting patiently on the ledge, gets back here, back off stage. I want to see Zenodo hold on to these turnips a little bit more. I feel like he's preemptively uh, chucking them as, as opposed to trying to actually snipe. I'm hit here, but what he does is get the snipe with the forward air, pulling himself right back into the game. Oh, that was the second jump, but I'm hit not opting to run off stage and try to get it back air. Yeah, like, I feel like he knew that he was already, that Zenodo was already so close to the ledge where he was going to just grab it, so he'd rather just stay on stage and control that stage rather than give up his position. Yeah, it's always smart to, you can always choose to, to ledge trap over, like, edge guard. And, I mean, it's working out. I mean, 100% practically unanswered on this stock, but Zenodo making his way back in. Okay, what's the play going to be from, from Zenodo? Zenodo gets hit by a forward air from the purple Pikmin, but racing those two Pikmin. Now, so the down air actually clanks with the up smash. Yeah, man, the up smash is hella strong, man. He's had a lot of moves, has very low end lag, uh, and is a combo tool as well. Get back air into F or uh, dash attack. Dash attack from Zenodo. Another, okay, I, I, I've seen a lot cleaner turn up play now. Definitely adding a little bit more precision to his shots, and oh my god, doesn't even need to do anything else off there. The Peach Bomber getting the shield break by the ledge, and that Pikmin, is, or Olimar, excuse me, just falling to his death. That's right, not, not even the need to push his opponent off the stage wasn't even there as Olimar just fell to his death. Now we see Zenodo with a small lead. Uh, he is at a really high percent. 
But as long as he plays this uh yeah. this perfect wall game that he was playing. That was so smart by him. I mean, that was like the first really, really aggressive option that he's done from the ledge. And he caught Zenodo slip and dropping his shield, getting hit by the downer and dying off the side. Okay, another Nair from Zenodo. That was really smart. He knows that uh, I'm hip was like trying to ride the ledge or trying to ride the walls. They make it put. It, they could put him in a, a untechable situation. Man, Perry up smash, ready to punish. Absolutely. I'm hip is one of the players who is definitely um, really really. That was good a stitch that. face. Another wow. one. Wow. Dude, I'm telling you, this this item play is beautiful. He, I, I mean, I, I know players like Razo who have absolutely incredible RNG and pull so many stitch faces per per set, but you don't necessarily always get a ton of mileage off of pulling this. It's like one thing to pull the stitch face, but to actually be able to like utilize it, and you can tell. I mean, he's throwing it out and so confident that he can regain control of the of, right. of the turn up again. Right. So he he gets a second opportunity to use that. So really, really, really good stuff from Zenodo. Well, Zenodo putting himself on the boards for one apiece. And now we go into game three. three Running right two, back to Pokemon one, Stadium. Why go. not? Man? I mean, in, in, in a way, I mean, this is really good stage for, for both players. If not a little bit better for um, Olimar since he gets a wide uh, plat like bottom platform to run around on. But uh, lower the smaller side blast zones and lower like top blast zone all it's good for either for either character. That's right. Down throw into forward air four. I'm hip to do that easy damage that we spoke of earlier. Sticking to your bread and butter. That's something that uh, I'm hip is easy. really like to do. Absolutely, another thing that Ifib likes to do is use that purple Pikmin to secure his recovery back onto the stage, especially if you have it. And like I said, that, that side B uh, Pikmin toss is the only one that has the, the knockback, the hitbox. We're seeing a relatively even game between here, 85 to 93 on Zenodo now. That's great. Opting to choose uh, to pick a turn up instead of getting rid of that red Pikmin. And now Zenodo taking back stage control. Good ledge trap with the uh, with the flow back air. All right, and he gets the up smash once again. I'm hip to King securing the first stock of this game. 104 percent now on his life. Back throw here is not going to be enough to get the kill, but it's setting up for the edge guard. The air dodge is off. Oh no, oh. he's not going to be able to make it back. Oh, you don't want to see that. Come on, Zenodo. Very unfortunate for Zenodo. It. He can do it, man. He's got momentum. Uh, that stock from oh, um, Hip is practically gone at 123, but not if I'm Hip has anything to say about that. 61, 71 already on the board. Make that 102. That's right. And in the blast zone already. A couple up airs and an S smash is all it took to get Zenodo to 100%. Wow. And now with the double purple. The double purple, man. It's such a good oh, combination. This is scary for sure. Double purple, a yellow. And I like that, like, the, the spacing that I'm hip's using whenever he's side being, he was making sure that the purple wouldn't go off stage. It would just barely reach the stage. That back, anything. that back here right now which is really important for Zenodo, especially if he still loses this game, he can get three stock. Getting three stock going into uh, a 2-1 deficit is definitely going to be a, a mental hurdle. And I'm hip securing the, sec the second game with that up throw. Two stock in the end. Still not the greatest. Like you don't you don't want to get two stocked either, but we'll take that over a three stock. That's right. And there was a really smart play from from I Mip when he was recovering. He was starting to get comboed by Zenodo, who was like then started to combo off stage down. And he was able to whistle uh, through the hit, fall underneath, and then just retake stage control, get a complete reversal of the situation. So good stuff for I'm Hip for his stage awareness. Three, two, here we are. One, Game go. number four on Town & City, we're seeing a little bit of scenery ch change this time around. Again, this is another uh, wide stage. Um, Collar's just a little bit wider, I believe, but this is still a good one to run around on. And slapping that Pikmin away, and now, oh, whipping the grabs, and notice it would have been able to uh, put some real numbers on on his. I'm hip, definitely seeming like he's uh, 
remembered everything he's known about this matchup, right? Because so often a purple backer gonna get the job done. Only 35% fresh stock prime hit here. Great, oh. but Zenodo not out just yet. Starting off strong in his second star, his second stock with the down throw into back air. And now keeping I'm hip on the right side of the stage, forward throwing. Now we're gonna see what the trap is. Only able to fare a Pikmin, not I'm hip. I'm hip taking an opportunity to collect some more Pikmin. Now that's something that um, we're gonna see a lot, especially since the, the Pikmin are often gonna die to Peach's hitboxes, especially the aerials. Yeah, good start from I'm hip. Make sure he doesn't get hit by that nair, especially at this higher percent. He does not want to get bounced off that stage. As Nero needs to take this stock right now, 62%. This is still a good, healthy stock. If he, if he can get this stock now, it will be in a, in a good place. And there he does it with the back here. Putting on so much pressure at the ledge. I mean, he too threw it out twice. Uh, I'm hip really couldn't do anything about it, except drop shield at some point. Still get hit by that really fast move. Right. Back air on the way down, back air on the way up. But a back air for I'm hip connects now. Ooh, oh, okay, he okay. did go for it. Yeah. I wasn't sure if he was actually going to go and drop down the dare. Right, beautiful uh, tech from Zenodo as well. So. Well played. We're starting to see the, the off stage game coming for, for I'm hip. Four Pikmin. <laughs> I'm hip sitting on a fresh stock, and you see the range on that blue Pikmin, but he just was barely outside of the range. That would have secured the stock for him. All right, oh, oh. punish coming out from Zenodo. Do my on. eyes deceive me, or are those two purples and a blue right now? That's two purples and a blue, but now one of those purples is gone. Still, one purple and a blue is good enough. But is Zenodo able to take out the take away the light? Nope. I like that. He actually uh, shielded an attack and dashed back to make his forward smash even a little bit safer. And uh, Zenodo was just not ready for the dash back in with a grab. Okay. See a few forward airs coming out from I'm Him. Looking like a uh, wolf right now. I think he's confused by what character he's playing. Oh, another grab. All right. I like the back throw. So I'm Hip was actually setting up for a down air after yeah. the side B in the the forward air. He likes, that's a, a classic for him. All right, let's see if we, maybe we can get it. And we <laughs> see those patented delayed recoveries from I'm Hit. But Zenodo able to close out that stock, but not before taking 101%. One percent, man, and a purple Pikmin out on the field. He's definitely gonna be playing really carefully around that. True. Now, now the blue now is the out. Blue. That turn up almost equal. So much damage to Zenodo, but it's still he gets it off of the down air. 61, keeping this really tight now and harassing with the up air. How oh, the Pikmin poked through yeah, the, 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 the platform. Back throw again. We have a Zenodo's very close chance. game. Very close game. It could be an anti air, up smash. Yeah. Could be a grab. Could be a, we, uh, an aerial, really. Could be a back air, an up air. Oh my god. That was the anti-air up smash. Yeah, that was that, it. But that back air is just came out a little bit faster. Okay, Regardless, last hit situation. Had the read. Oh, you gotta be careful with your blue pigment. That's oh, their moneymaker. I love it. He crossed him up and hit him with that purple back.